The Woolly Bear Caterpillar by Julia Donaldson and Yuval Sommer The Woolly Bear Caterpillar by Julia Donaldson and Yuval Sommer Macmillan Children's Books There was once a woolly bear caterpillar. She lived in a garden and she loved eating dandelion leaves. But one day, a gardener pulled up all the dandelions in the flower bed. The woolly bear caterpillar had to crawl off in search of some new ones. She hadn't crawled far when she heard someone singing. On a leaf of a sycamore tree sat a caterpillar with very long yellow and orange hair, and this was her song. Look at me, look at me, I'm bonny and bright as can be, with my hair of bright gold, I'm a joy to behold, the queen of the sycamore tree. Hello, what's your name? asked the woolly bear caterpillar. I'm a sycamore caterpillar, and I'm going to turn into a sycamore moth. Just think, if I'm so pretty now, I'll be absolutely gorgeous when I get my wings. I'm going to have wings too one day, said the woolly bear caterpillar. The sycamore caterpillar laughed. Yes, very plain ones, I expect. Never mind, we can't all be beautiful. The woolly bear caterpillar crawled on till she reached an apple tree. On a fallen apple sat a caterpillar with red spots and bright yellow tufts. He was singing this song. Look at me, look at me, I'm stunning and smart as can be. With my tufts of bright yellow, I'm such a fine fellow, the king of the old apple tree. The woolly bear caterpillar crawled on till she came to a tall poplar tree. On a twig was a very strange looking caterpillar. He was bright green and round his head were some red marks that made it look as if he was screaming. He was singing this song. Look at me, look at me, I'm stunning and strange as can be. The marks round my head are a fierce, fiery red. I'm the king of the tall poplar tree. The woolly bear caterpillar felt a little sad. She wished she could be beautiful and exciting instead of plain and dull. But then at last she found some dandelion leaves which cheered her up. After a tasty meal, she crawled under a big dock leaf. It's time I got ready to change into a moth, she decided. And she started to spin herself a nice silky coat called a cocoon. The sycamore caterpillar was spinning a cocoon too in some old leaves on the ground. The vapor caterpillar's cocoon was on a twig of the apple tree. And the puss moth caterpillar had found a snug hole in the poplar tree's bark for his cocoon. Weeks went by, then it was time for the moths to hatch out of their cocoons. Out hatched the sycamore moth. She looked quite plain. Out hatched the vaporer moth. He looked rather dull. He did have two white spots on his wings, but they weren't very exciting. Out hatched the puss moth. He looked fairly boring 
even though his wings did have a few squiggles. The tree moths flew round the garden. Let's see if Woolly Bear has hatched out yet, said Sycamore. Good idea. At least she'll look more ordinary than us, said Vaporer. Look, here's her cocoon, said Puss Moth. The three of them settled on the grass to watch. They didn't have long to wait. The cocoon split open and out hatched. A lovely orange, black and white moth. She had splendid blue spots and her body was stripy like a tiger. She's beautiful, said Sycamore. She's colourful, said Vaporer. She's perfect, said Puss Moth. And I'm not a woolly bear any more, said the newly hatched moth. I'm a garden tiger moth. And feeling very happy, she fluttered into the air. The other three moths gazed up at her longingly. Then all together they sang this song. Look at her, way up there, no longer a small woolly bear. She is a beautiful sight, she is a perfect delight, the colourful queen of the air. The End